Hello everyone. So now what we are going to do now, we are going to do the interview LAN. So but before going to interview LAN, I will change the IP schema. Generally, in the real scenario, you will have the different IP schema. Like you are configuring for the VLAN 10, then your IP schema will be from like this range 192.168.10. something 10.0 slash 24. And for the VLAN 20, we will have the like this is schema 192.168.20.0 slash 24 in the real you will have this type but here for lab purpose we use 1.1 1.1 so now i will change here so we can do the interval and routing okay so here i will put this one as a 10 here okay so 10.1 i will go here also i will make this as a 10.1 10.1 and here will be we can say this is the 10.2 here and i will go here also i will change this is a 10.2 and this one we can say this is a 10.3 okay so let me go here and do here 10.3 and this one we will use the 20 here 192.168 192 let me check here 168.20.1 okay i will assign this ip to this machine okay let me change here this one will be 20.2 and then i will go here i will assign here and then again i will go here 20.3 okay so now we have different vlan and different IP schema still the same thing if you go here and you can check here you cannot communicate because they are in the different subnet also and also different VLAN this is your IP 192.168.10.3 you can ping the same VLAN so if you see you can ping 10.1 because they are in the same VLAN and if you check here 10.2 it will work because they are in the same VLAN but if you ping 20.1, 20.2, 20.3 it will not work because they are in the different VLAN and also different subnet okay different VLAN and different subnet it is not working <coughs> okay so what I can do now I can uh, do the we can use SVI switch virtual interface we can do that one let me show you how we can do that okay so see it is not working and also 20.2 also it will not work because they are in different vlan and also we can say they are in the what we can say they are in different vlan and also they are using the different subnet so it will not work so now i will do the switch virtual interface so i will go in the switch i will take this is a layer 3 switch okay this is a layer 3 switch and what i will do here i will remove this link i will connect here and this will be here somewhere or if you want i can keep this way and this way okay like this we can do any way we can do this one or if you want to move this little here move like this and check where we can keep this switch or like this or like this so easily you can read what port this one we can say this is a gateway or i can say this is a layer th l3 switch any name you can give no issue any name you can give you need to remember this port is fast ethernet 0 by 1 this is a fast ethernet 0 by 2 okay so here this is this uh, this is a layer 3 switch so here we need to create the trunk also so uh, what i will do i will write here no and then let me do the basic configuration first of all i will change this one i will give the name as a host name i will give l3 switch l3 switch okay and then i will write interface fast ethernet 0 by 1 and then I will write switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q. We switch port more trunk. With this command and the because in the layer three switch we need to type this first and then this. 
then only trunk will work in the layer 3 switch you need to write this first and write this so that port will become as a trunk so first link this one i make trunk f0 by 1 then i will make f0 by 2 so i will write interface f0 by 2 and if you see here if i write switch port mode trunk it will not work see it is not working so you need to write switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q then switch port mode trunk okay so now what i done here show interface trunk so this two port i make as a trunk fast ethernet 0 by 1 0 by 2 so this one and this one is a trunk now i need to create the vlan also we are using which vlan i will go in the global configuration i will write vlan 10 name as a it and then vlan 20 name as a sales this two vlan i created now i need to assign the ip to this two vlan also so what i will do interface vlan 10 okay i write interface vlan 10 then i need to assign the ip i will write ip address whatever ip you are assigning that ip will be gateway for this computer so we will write 192.168.10.100 give space 255.255.255.0 okay and then write no shirt so this 10.100 will be gateway for the vlan 10 so wherever you have vlan 10 pc you need to assign this as a gateway wherever you have the vlan why we are doing this one we are doing this one because we need to do the inter vlan okay because we need to do the inter vlan that's why we are doing so this is a gateway now i will do the same thing i will create the i will go under the vlan 20 i will assign the ip here ip address 192.168.20.100 then give space 255.255.255.0 and we will write no shirt here okay and this should be the gateway let me copy this should be the gateway for this machine so i will go here i will put this here i will go here i will put this one as a gateway and i will go to this computer i will put this as a gateway here this one i put this one i put this one i put or not this one i did okay and also i need to enable the routing in this so what i need to write i need to write ip routing ip routing okay now it will start working so before different vlan cannot communicate now it will work so if you go here and ping this one it will work before it is not working now it will start working okay let's see yeah now it is working so if you see here different vlan cannot communicate different vlan cannot communicate before but now it is working if you want to check the other one also ping 192.168.20.2 you ping just now 20.2 okay so let's ping 20.1 okay 20.1 so i am pinging from here to this one both are in different VLAN and also different subnet. I am pinging from 10.3 to 20.1. So it is working perfectly. Okay, if you want to ping this one 20.3 also it will work. So what I done here, I done switch virtual interface, SVI. Generally most of the organization we are using this technique only to make the communication between different VLAN. So what we can, this is a SVI, switch virtual interface. So simple, what is the configuration here? Just you need to, first of all, you need to create that VLAN. Okay, after that you need to write IP routing to enable the routing in the layer 3 switch. You need to use the layer 3 switch to do the SVI, to do the inter VLAN with the help of SVI, you need to take the layer 3 switch. You cannot do in the layer 2 switch this one. After that you need to go under that VLAN and assign the IP and write no shirt. Again, the other VLAN, whatever you have, assign the IP, write no shirt. And this IP should be the gateway for this VLAN. And this IP should be the gateway for this VLAN in the machine, in this computer. Then it will start working. Okay, this is simple. So this method we are calling switch virtual interface. Switch virtual interface. If you want to do the router on a stick, or traditional method you can do that way also but most of the time in the organization we are using this one we are calling this is a svi okay so better use this one in real scenario also we will use most of the time this one in a small organization they will use the router on a stick 
but this this is always in the good organization big organization we have this type of setup so i hope this is clear for you if you have any question write in the chat box or in the comments and join our telegram group you are going to get all this topology there okay Chani telegram channel i will provide the link in the description you can click and join our ch telegram channel and also you can follow us in the instagram and uh, join our telegram channel and you will get this topology in our channel thank you